channel everyone uh, today we're gonna be working on the Lexus again now, if you saw the last video on this car a couple days after I did the brake work the alternator failed so we have a rebuilt alternator over here so it's an O'Reilly's unit it's an Ultima um, as soon as we can get one um, pretty easy to replace it looks like but uh, yeah, that's what we get to do today. So let me get the keys for this thing and uh, we'll tear into it. All right, lots of plastic. Now this just pops off. There we go, I'll put this over here. All right, so the alternator is right there. I know you can't see it, but uh, it's pretty easy to get to. I just got to take some more of this plastic off, give me more access. Probably take this off, um, this off. Yeah, I think just this and this, and we'll be good. Unhook the battery and just tear it out. Um, I think what I failed was from oil being spilled on it from uh, putting oil in and not using a funnel. I think that's what happened because there's a lot of oil coming down this, and it drips right on the alternator. So. It's possibly what made it fail, who knows. After I tear into it, we're probably going to see what else it needs. It probably needs a new serpentine belt and maybe like an idler pulley or two and a tensioner. So we'll probably do the full thing, but I got to tear into it first to see exactly what we need. So uh, let me go get the keys and uh, unhook this battery and get started. All right, first thing we got to do is unhook this battery. Let's undo the negative side over here. there all right the next thing we got to do is we got to get these uh this cover off and this cover off so we're gonna take uh, this one off first actually This one's a little tougher to get out because these pins are really recessed in. Last one. Got it. All right. And that's that cover guys can see in here it's a 14 mil I'm getting this tensioner down here yeah it's a 14 mil yep it's a 14 what I'm gonna do is this get the belt off and we're good to go <laughs> got it there we go I want to have to look at my hand look at that that's the belt ridiculous how dirty that belt is I think we're gonna be doing a belt as well guys at minimum this belt is like oil soaked that's coming from up here it's it's all from right here could be the valve cover. There we go. It's off. It's just not off. Does that make sense? It's off, but it's not off. Got it. Got the belt out. Yeah, we need a belt too, guys. This thing's cracked. Caught that in time. 
how dirty it is too. But I'm gonna see what these uh, pulleys are like. Oh yeah, needs an idler. Needs that idler. This idler needs to be replaced. It's got play in it. I would just replace. Oh, this one feels pretty good though. That needs to be replaced. Oh, that's the tensioner. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. So it needs the tensioner and the idler replaced and the belt. So it needs a tensioner, idler, and a belt. All right, I had to get the piece of wood out because we only have one strut, one new strut. The other strut that was new is seized up. So I got to get another strut. Um, so it needs an idler pulley, a tensioner, and a belt. It's going to need the full works. Awesome. I'm taking the idler and the tensioner off just to give me better access and help me get this alter. I hope I can get this alternator out through here. I think I can. So this is the all this is the idler pulley. This definitely needs to be replaced. This has got play in it. Yeah, you can feel play. I can feel play in the bearing. So we're gonna replace that. Put that there. Let's get this uh, tensioner off. I'm not sure. With this bolts, how this is bolted in. Um, not too sure. I guess I'll take the uh, the pulley off, and then maybe I'll be able to see better. I'm gonna go inside and see, uh, look up the part, and see exactly how it bolts up, and then I'll come back out to this. Okay, everybody, I've almost got the alternator out. You can see I got both pulleys out. They are different. I'm not going to replace the tensioner, I'm just going to replace the tensioner pulley and the idler pulley because the tensioner is still good, so we're going to roll with that. But here's the, uh, the trick here. If you look down in there, you see that socket right there? All right. My socket is right, or the socket extension is right there. There's a hidden bracket up in there. I've been fighting this alternator trying to get it out. Well, there's a hidden bracket in there, and it's not, it's a bracket you have to transfer over to the new alternator. And there's one, uh, I believe it's a 12 millimeter bolt on there that holds it on. And if you don't know that's down there, you'll never get this thing off. Um, I've been fighting this thing. I have everything unbolted and there's just, and it's not easy to get to, especially if you have big hands. I mean, I have pretty good sized hands. Um, you know, I'm a little over 6'2". I can palm a basketball. I have, my fingers are skinny, but I got big hands, guys. And getting down into that tight spot, was not fun. Um, it took me probably about five, six minutes just to get the socket onto the nut, um, but I got it. So let me uh, let me get that off, and I should have this thing out of here in the next couple minutes. Okay, guys. So we went to the parts store to get a uh, new pulleys and all that stuff, and it's crazy expensive. So we're just gonna order the stuff from Rock Auto, and I'm going to put the alternator. The new alternator in with all the old parts, it'll be fine. Um, we'll order that and then when the new belt and tensioner and idler pulley comes in, that stuff's relatively fairly simple to replace and uh, I'll do that um, I'll do that next week. So I'm gonna throw it back together and uh, see how this thing does. I got everything back together. Well, most everything back together. I still got like a stud to put in down here. Let me get my light. There's still a stud for the plastic to put in right there. It's just to, to hold the plastic on. And then I gotta put all the plastic back on, but I wanna start it up, make sure everything's good. You see there's the new alternator. Uh, it's all plugged in, everything's wired up. Don't think there's anything unhooked that I see. Hook that back in, that's good, that's good. What else we got, you guys see anything? I don't see anything, I think everything's good. So the belt's on there. Uh, we had to use all the old stuff, as I said before. We're going to order all the new tensioners and everything. and New tensioner and pulley and belt um, for mock auto. It's, it'll save us like 250 bucks. So, let's see what happens. Oh, got to hook the battery up. Let's do that first. So, when you go to start a car, guys, make sure you hook the battery up. That usually helps. So, let's do that real fast. Battery's hooked up. Now we're good. Now... Now it should start. Let's see. Any weird noises, we shut it off. First hit. Boom. 
time if you start it up. It took a second. Seems like it's good. Nothing went kaboom. I can hear the bearing on the tensioner, but we're gonna that'll that'll be on the way. It should get here in a few days. We just gotta order it. No big deal. Almost forgot the glove. So yeah, everything sounds good. Let me uh, put the plastic back on and we'll be done with this. Hey everybody, it's like a week and a half later. Um, I got the parts for the Lexus here. Um, <clears throat> that's the idler pulley, the tensioner, and the belt. Uh, I looked up how to do the job on the tensioner and it is an actually, it's actually a fairly large job to do. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna swap the pulley out from the tensioner onto the, on, from the new tensioner onto the old tensioner. So I'm just gonna swap pulleys I'll hold on to the new tensioner just in case something happens with this uh, old tensioner on here, but uh, the tensioner feels fine. It's just the pulleys that need to be replaced. And just to do the pulleys in the belt is an easy job. To do that tensioner that's buried down in there, you gotta like take everything out. And it's, it's just not worth it to do all that work. Um, so we're just gonna swap out pulleys. Let me get you guys set up and uh, I'll get to work finishing this job. I don't need to take as much apart to do this job. Um, I basically just have to get in here and uh, just remove those two pulleys, take the tension off, take the belt off, remove those two pulleys, replace them, and then throw a new belt on and we're done. You can see I need to replace those two pulleys right there and there. Those are the two pulleys I gotta replace. The bottom one's a tensioner, that's the idler. They're both making noise and I have a new belt. So let's get this all taken out. Yeah, you can see I got the old stuff out. There's the old belt. Here's the old tensioner pulley. Hear that? It's no good. Idler pulley. Not as bad, starting to make noise though. So, this is the new idler pulley right here. New idler pulley. That will replace this one. And then the tensioner, I have a whole new tensioner here. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the pulley off and use that because that is a job to swap out one of those. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me get this new stuff in there and get it back up and running. Okay, everybody ran into a little issue um, with the new setup. So if you look here, let me grab the, uh, can you see the difference? This hole's bigger than this hole. Well, that's because the design of this new tensioner is a little different. You see that boss, this boss right here? That rides in there. Well, the tensioner on the car, the original tensioner, does not have that because it has a sleeve that's inside the bearing and the bolt fits tight in that sleeve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this sleeve out and then we're gonna press it into this bearing. So that's all I gotta do and it should work fine. Um, we'll put this up on the shelf just in case. Part of our parts on inventory, I guess. But yeah, that's what I gotta do. I gotta do, uh, press out this sleeve and then press it into this uh, new bearing. So we're here at the press. Let's get it, uh, let's get it going. There it is guys, that's what I need. There it goes. See, you did it. Cool. She's all set, guys. We got the sleeve in, nice tight bearing. And make sure you wear your safety glasses when you're using one of these because that comes flying up and yeah, not gonna have a good day. Anyways, let's go upstairs and let me go install these parts. So next time you see me, I'm gonna have all this installed. Okay, everyone. I got the light this morning. Everything seems good. You can see my light. See my two new shiny pulleys down there. Brand new belt. Everything's nice and tight, nice and quiet. Fix. So. Finally, after like two weeks, this video is done. Literally, when I started this video, it was warm. And then we had like five inches of snow, and now it's warm again. It's like 75 degrees today. It's awesome. But uh, 
Yeah, Lexus is all fixed. There's some other things it needs. Uh, one of the driver's side windows going down for some reason. The other ones won't go down, so I got to dig into that and uh, figure out what's going on. Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.